Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've finally gotten around to doing my winter favourites or like my winter wardrobe must-haves. I've had a lot of you girls asking me and guys asking me to do this so I've picked out some of my favourite bits and the bits that I wear probably every every single day at least every week um, to in the winter period. So like lots of warm bits and cosy bits but also trying to keep it like fashionable and to my style so yeah um, as you can see there is a lot of colour in this <laughs> I'm so bad I literally I love colour so much but I think I love it well I never wear it but I, I love it in um, summer and I love it when I'm on holiday and when I've got a tan but it's so cold right now and it's miserable outside in the UK and I just think black is the way forward um, so some of these bits will be in my haul which is coming on Sunday um, but hopefully this is going up tonight so you'll probably see some of the things there as well um, but I hope that's alright. So because it's my essentials I would I just picked out like uh, some key pieces so I have like my coats I have um, some tops, some boots and shoes um, what else do I have? Jeans or like trousers and then I have accessories so there's quite a few bits to get through. Starting off I'm just wearing what I would probably put on every single day is just a plain black top and some black jeans. Um, this particular top is from Never Fully Dressed and it's actually part of a cord set. You'll see the cord in my haul which is coming on Sunday so yeah stay tuned for that but this is just a plain thin knit and then these jeans are River Island plain black ones. So nothing exciting there, but yeah, it's the perfect base to any outfit, I think, I would say. Um, okay, so starting off with coats, I've gone for five, actually it's going to turn out to be like a coat haul, isn't it? <laughs> um, I started off with the five key coats that I wear, and each one of these coats I probably have like three or four different variations of. So I have cosy, I have like textured fur, I have faux fur before anyone comes at me. <laughs> Um, I have a variation of like the checkered blazer which is quite in at the minute and then I have um, an aviator jacket and I have leather so I will start off by showing you them. So the first one is this huge big, I hope you can see, um, puffer jacket from Zara. Now I've seen these in Zara so many times but they've always been like £100, £120 um, and then I was in London, is this TRF? Yeah so I was in London with my sister and we were shopping. Um, and then we saw these which were £50 and we were like no way, like the weight of it is crazy, it feels like so heavy, it's such good quality and it is just so 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 warm. So this is literally, I've not taken this off my back since I bought it, I'm obsessed with it. Um, and it's just like yeah, as it says, a really big cosy warm puffer and it's got this huge big collar which I love. Um, I feel like these might be called duvet coats or something because they literally feel like duvets but um, yeah I love it and it just goes with everything, it is quite casual so I always dress it down, but um, yeah, it's great. This one might be a little bit hard to show on here just because it is so long and I can't get the camera all the way done. But um, there is pictures on my Instagram which will be linked below and if I can figure it out, I might put some pictures on the screen. I probably won't figure that out, so that's not gonna happen. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's literally a duvet. It's so cozy and I'm just, I love it. I love the big collar and I love just how it looks. It's so like effortlessly cool, um, yeah. That's that one. Okay, so moving on is what I would call like a textured variation of a coat. Um, it's this, I got this recently actually. Um, yeah, just this like faux fur, shaggy, big, cozy, warm jacket from a company called Status Cult. They are an Australian company, so they do take a little while to get to the UK, but I mean, they're definitely worth it. They're gorgeous. Um, so I would, all of this would style up with this outfit that I'm wearing now, and then I would just change up my boots and shoes, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But this is gorgeous, it's day and evening, it's dressed up, dressed down, it's whatever you want to make it really. So I wore it with boots and leather trousers, um, but I also would wear this with like heels and a nice top, go out for dinner. It's just a really cool way to jazz up your outfit, it's just this like shaggy fur, I guess. Um, yeah, and I just love it, it's very gorilla-esque. <laughs> okay, so here's this big shaggy one on. Um, there's not much to say about it other than it's amazing, I'm obsessed with it, it's so cool, it's so cosy. It doesn't look cosy, I don't, well it probably does look cosy, it doesn't feel like it would be cosy when you get it because it is quite thin but I actually stayed really warm in it. I went to Bista Village shopping and I stayed warm the whole day and again because it's so big you can layer it with so many different things. So you know you can put a little thermal top on and then thin it and you're fine, you're good to go. So yeah, I love that. So moving on, um, checkered blazers have been huge in fashion at the minute. They're all over Instagram, they're in every single shop and I do love them. 
But I think I've said before, when everyone loves something, hmm, got fur in my mouth. Um, when everyone loves something, I tend to not like it until like months in. Um, so yeah, I never really got into the checkered blazer thing until actually now I'm <laughs> saying that there's one coming in the mail. Um, but yeah, so now that they're kind of dying down, I'm starting to like them quite a lot. But this I found again, obviously, the whole thing's going to be Zara. <laughs> Um, I found in Zara and it's it's a jacket but it's almost like a take on the checkered blazer so it's just this sort of like tweed um, I don't know what you'd call it <laughs> blazer jacket uh, yeah it's nice and again day and evening this is one of these pieces that I'm probably going to fall out of love with in about a month's time so it will probably be on my Depop but I think it's gorgeous I actually had um, a weekend planned up in Scotland to do some clay pigeon shooting <laughs> um, in this country hotel so I actually bought this with that in mind because I thought that would look quite country quite cool um, yeah but I love it okay, so this is this jacket on it's not really in shot is it I don't know it's quite long it comes to just above my knee um, and then it has this one button in the middle which you can do up so I think it's really nice it's really country um, yeah it's just a nice little addition to my wardrobe I don't really have anything like this in my wardrobe. I used to wear tweed quite a lot when I lived up in Scotland. <laughs> oh god. Um, I have. I used to wear like tweed blazers and stuff. Um, and then I kind of went off them, but I think they're making their way back into my wardrobe. Okay. Second last is this aviator jacket. I live in these jackets. I have probably like three in my wardrobe right now. Um, and every year I, well every other year I tend to get new ones because they do, I wear them so much that they do like, uh, the quality goes down quite a bit. So it's just obviously so easy to wear. This one, I don't know where it's from. It's either from La Sula Boutique or it's from Wear All or We Are All. I don't know what it's called, Wear All. Um, one of those, but I'm obsessed with it again. God, I need to stop using the word obsessed. It's just so lovely, it's so cozy. And I wear this in the daytime. I wouldn't really wear this at night time, like for dinner. But yeah, it's just this really big, cozy, oversized jacket. And you can get so many like, you know, thick jumpers under it. Um, it looks so cool with scarves and hats and boots and whatever you want to wear really. I think it looks cool either way or anyway. Um, but yeah, so it's just really cool, really big, fitted, lovely. I love it. <laughs> yeah, because I don't know where that jacket's from, I will link variations to it below. And again, with everything else, if something is not in stock or something is really expensive, then I'll also link other alternatives for you. So look out for that in the description box. So moving on again is leather jackets. So I have two real leather jackets and I have about four full leather jackets something in my eyebrow that whole time, how annoying <laughs> okay so yeah leather jackets as I'm saying you can't really go wrong with them I am obsessed with them no I'm not obsessed, I love them <laughs> um, this one is actually from All Saints, it's my sister's I stole it from her like so many things in my wardrobe I <laughs> take from my sister <laughs> sorry Nicole um, but yeah I love it, she has two so I thought she could do with just having one um, yeah, so I have two leather jackets which are real and I love them and then I also have, actually the one I wear all the time is faux because it's more like biker. Um, this is actually too big for me so it looks quite chunky when I put it on. Okay, so it, like it obviously gives me really big shoulders or I don't know, that's how I feel anyway when I wear it. But I do love it, it's so cosy, it's so warm. Um, because I feel like it makes me look quite big because it's too big for me, I then always layer it up with scarves and make it look like it's big on purpose. So you don't look bulky, you just look like you've made yourself look bulky, if that makes any sense. <laughs> okay, and then this is the most impractical wear to, way to wear jackets, but it's the way that I wear them most. <laughs> it's just over my shoulder, um, especially if I'm going for dinner or if I'm taking pictures for Instagram. <laughs> this is how I wear my jacket. So I think it looks better this way just because it is quite bulky. But um, there's so many different kinds of leather jackets. There's like studded, there's texture, there's biker, there's like uh, sleek looking ones, I think I have them all in my wardrobe but um, yeah so that's how I would wear them. I might actually do a coat haul for my coat collection video because I have a sickening amount of coats which I'm sure I would love to share them all with you. <laughs> okay so moving on I've done some different tops so each day I will be wearing at least one of these tops or like a variation of these tops so the first is obviously thin knits um, this one, as I said, is from Never Fully Dressed, but Zara do amazing and like so many different variations, so many different colours, and they're all perfect. So, any one that I'm usually wearing is from Zara, as you probably all know now. <laughs> um, but this is just the first one, although it actually has a hole in it, so I need to get a new one today. So, I'm going to go and do that after this. But it's just a literally plain 
thin knit, it's not much else to say, it looks like this one but tighter. Um, and yeah, they go with everything. I love high necks in winter, I actually I wear high necks all year round, I love them. Um, but yeah, that's that. Okay, and then the only other two kind of jumpers or like long sleeve tops I would ever wear is a big knit. So this one's from Zara, again. <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so many Zara things. Okay, so this one is just what it looks like, a big thin knit. Well, not thin, it's, it's not thick, it's not thin. Um, I probably have about 10 different colours and variations of Zara knits. They're actually, they're so reasonably priced and they always bring out like so many cool things in this time of year. So yeah, I have so many different variations. I was going to bring them all down, but it's literally this in different colours, different textures, you know. There's not really much else to say about it. And I think this was probably only, it was between 25 and 35 pounds, which I think is great for a big knit. This um, hanger's not very good for it. Um, yeah, and I've had this for probably two years now, and it's still perfect condition, I love it. And I also like to go up a size in these knits, just because I love oversized tops. And finally, it's something that I have seen on Instagram with so many girls, and it started, it made me love them. Hoodies to me were always things that you would wear to the gym, or I would lounge about in, not anything I would really wear out, um, until Instagram. <laughs> so I have this plain black hoodie from Pretty Little Thing. This is the ultimate oversized boyfriend hoodie or something, or ultimate oversized plain hoodie or something like that um, but yeah I just love them they're so cool they're so easy to wear and um, very casual but they're perfect for you know shopping or going out for a casual lunch or running errands they're just so cozy this one is I got it with the intention of wearing under leather jackets and stuff but it's so long on me that it just looks a bit silly so I do have some other colors actually <laughs> they're on my boyfriends but yeah I have some other colors that are a little bit shorter on me and yeah they're just perfect and I would wear this with um, like Converse's, leather trousers, boots, literally anything goes with hoodies. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to talk about trousers. I am planning a video of um, how I style my leather trousers because I know loads of you have asked for that. So I'm not probably going to try these on. Or I might try them on, I'm not sure, and do like a little cutout for you. But I don't know. I am think I'm going to leave that for the next video as like how I style them. So there's only ever... How many have I got up here? Okay, so I have three up there and my jeans on at the minute. So I only, only ever wear these trousers. Like, obviously I have loads of different kinds of them, but these are the styles that I would wear all the time. So, of course, I have plain black jeans. Um, and as I said, these ones are just River Island, plain, um, yeah, they just go with everything. And, yeah, nothing else to say. Um, so next is uh, leather trousers. You've all probably seen these on my Instagram. Everyone asks me about these every single time I put them up. And they're literally just... Plain Zara ones, they were in my haul, um, I think it was my last haul. Um, yeah, just faux leather trousers, I love them. There's not anything else to say, like, they're probably my most worn pairs of trousers. I think I have three or four of the exact same pair. Um, and yeah, they were like £20, which I think is amazing. And the other thing, the other pair of trousers that I constantly get asked on from in on Instagram, asked about on Instagram, um, are these trousers. They... I would call them coated jeans, but I think they look leather when I take pictures of them. But they are just a coated jean. Are they? They're like a coated trouser. Um, but yeah, they're super skinny. They're just a bit more like textured, you know. They have zips and the zip up the front. And yeah, they're just really cool. I love them. <laughs> I just think I wear so many plain outfits and so much black that adding textures through like trousers or jackets like just completely changes the outfit. So that's why I wear... These. I think I said at the start that I wasn't going to show the set of this top and the um, bottoms, but I actually do wear these all the time. I always wear culottes, and again, I have pleated culottes, I have really baggy culottes, I have woolen culottes, I have shorter culottes, I have so many different kinds of them, but these are the newest pair I just got uh, yesterday, <laughs> and I love them, and they go as a set with this top, um, but they're just so easy to wear, and you see... They're quite wide, they're a great length, they're not too long, not too short, and I just, yeah, I just love them. So easy to wear, you can wear them literally with anything. I tend personally to wear them with a jumper like this, uh, maybe one that's a little bit more tight fitted, and then um, loafers, I would say. Loafers or like sock boots if I'm going out for dinner, and then a big belt in the middle, of course. But yeah, I love them. Last two things, the two genres I have is shoes and then um, accessories, where I only have two items for the accessories so I'll probably leave that to the end but shoe wise in winter my absolute essentials are boots black boots or any color boots I love them um, I have loads of different kinds I have actually quite a ridiculous amount of boots 
So these are probably my most worn plain boots, I would say. I'll just come up a bit closer. So they're literally just plain black. They have these uh, like stud detailing around this bit. <laughs> and then they're elasticated, so they're super tight. Um, again, Zara. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> um, probably like 20 pounds, 30 pounds. They're not real leather, so they aren't that cozy, but um, yeah, I wear them a lot. And then, of course, my combat boots, which everyone asks about on Instagram. They've got a lot of love from people. Um, yeah, I just love them. These were about £100, but they are real leather, and I just, I love them. So if I'm wearing quite a plain outfit, and I just want to have something, like, to make it look a little bit more special, these are perfect. So I'm a big trainer fan, but not really, like, Nike trainers or like that kind of make. Um, I do have pairs, but I don't know, I just feel like they're, I don't know, I like them, they're just not really what I would wear out during the day. Um, so I love chunky trainers, like big platform trainers. I think they're cool, they're just so different, well, not, they're not different at all, they're very, very everywhere. But um, they just make an outfit look really cool. And then also, these are the probably ones that I wear most, and my Gucci trainers. Um, they're just the standard Gucci B trainers. I go with a lot, not everything. I wouldn't wear them with certain outfits because I do think, I tend to think that they can look quite chavvy, <laughs> but I think if you wear them right, they do look really cool. Um, but yeah, so I wear this with like a leather jacket, big scarf, sunglasses, or uh, what else is here that I would wear them with? Definitely my aviator jacket. I think they look really cool. Um, and again, just paired with this outfit. Okay, and then no essential video of mine would be complete without my Gucci loafers. I wear these so much, it's so crazy. I struggle, like, my pain is having to, like, not wear them because I wear them every single day. They go with everything. So the struggle is saying to myself, like, no, you can't wear them again. Like, I wear them on every single day. I love them. Um, they aren't the most practical things for the UK when it's winter because obviously we get a lot of rain, we get a lot of like horrible weather that's not going to be good for um, the fur around the back. I wear these out for dinner quite a lot, I wear them in the day quite a lot, I just wear them all the time, I love them, they're great. Um, little tip, I actually got these on the way to Greece in summer in the airport and I think I got like £300 off because it's tax free in the airport, so, or like £250, so that's a nice little tip. Um, but yeah, I am really desperate to get a pair without fur and with a back because I wear these so much that I know I'll wear normal ones as just as much. So and they're probably a bit more practical for winter than these. Last but not least is some accessories. So I love fedora hats. I have so many up in Scotland. I have like red ones, green ones, like dark colours, not bright red, bright green. Um, I have black, I have beige, I have so many of them. But I always forget to bring them down to England with me whenever I'm up there. So I was in London again with my sister and I saw this one in the Couples and I love it. The thing is though, when I tried this on, um, it had like felt, to make it stand up in the shelf, it had like lining. So it fit really, really snug and tight and it wouldn't, I didn't think it would fly off in the wind. Anyway, I paid for it, it was quite expensive, so I will link alternatives and I'll also link this one below, um, if I can find it. I'm pretty sure it's men's, you know. When I tried to find it online before, I'm pretty sure it was a man's one. But it does have a bow, maybe not. Okay, anyway, so I need to go and get the size. I'm going to do that today, I think, um, because it's so big for me now. <laughs> I can't wear this uh, if there's, like, any kind of wind at all. It'll just fly off my head, but I'll just show you it on. You've probably seen it on my Instagram. They're just so easy to wear. I wear them with everything. I love it with this coat. This is on my Instagram, this outfit with the combat boots. Um, I wore it with this jacket, the shaggy fur one. I literally wear it with everything, it's just it doesn't fit, so I kind of have to like, I wear it and then I spend half the day just holding it in my hand. <laughs> so I am going to go and get it sized, but I love it, I think it makes any outfit just look so cool. Again, everything here is so basic and simple, but when you add certain elements to your plain outfit, it just completely transforms it. Last but not least, I think that's everything. Yeah, I got this rail by the way because I've completely outgrown my flat and I needed it, but actually it comes in really handy for this kind of thing. Um, so yeah, last but not least is just this little beanie hat from um, Knots and Kisses, is that right? Yeah, Knots and Kisses. Um, yeah, I just love it. There's not much else to say. It's just like got two pom-poms. It's so cute. I will put it on and show you. I think it's so sweet. I don't know. I think it's going to have very mixed opinions, <laughs> but I think it's so sweet. I have so many with a single, single bobble, but I don't have any with two, so I just feel like a little teddy bear. I love it. So that is the end of my essentials video. I hope it helped. 
Um, I know that it's not great that I'm not trying things on and doing cutaways and stuff. I might try and put some of the trousers on, but I, I am doing a video um, of how I style my leather trousers. So I think I'll just wait to show you that. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and hit subscribe. And I really hope it helps some of you and answer some of your questions about where all my stuff's from. Um, as I said, I will link everything down below and also alternatives if I can't find them online or if they're expensive, I'll link um, ones that are a little bit less expensive for you if you want that. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.